What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing The Book of Clarence. Now, if you're like me, the trailers had me confused. I was like, what's going on? Is he Jesus? Is he not Jesus? Is, we, is Jesus in this? What, what, what's really going on? What are we doing? Are we doing a retelling? What, what, what's happening here? Now, I'm not the biggest, you know, viewer of religious, you know, works if you will. I did see The Passion of the Christ in movie theaters, as did everybody when it came out, when it hit the streets, and I cried hard, hard tears. Hard, like, forehead crease, like a face crease on The Passion of the Christ. Uh, but for the most part, I don't really tap into the, the biblical joints like that. But this premise had me intrigued. Book of Clarence is about Lakeith's character, who, you know, they're in the streets. They're in these biblical, Jerusalem streets on the year that, you know, Christ was crucified. And I was confused because it said 33 AD, and I always thought AD meant after he died. So I was just like, wait, oh, so this is 33 years after he died. No, it was just like on that year. So I was like, oh, 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 okay. So I guess the AD starts at his birth. So I was like, oh, Okay, I learned something new in that very moment. I was like, see, this is why I'm not in the biblical streets like that. I don't know what the hell's going on. So it's that year. Now, Lakeith's character, Clarence, is, you know, he's just out here hustling, trying to trying to make some money, trying to survive on the Jerusalem streets. You know how it is in Jerusalem, you know what I mean? Just trying to, trying to come up as best you can. Him and his boy Elijah. You know, they out here racing chariots. They end up losing the race. They end up losing money. They get the chariot stolen from some gypsies. And so now Clarence is in hot water with Jebediah, who, you know, is a heavy in them streets. And is like, yo, man, if you don't come up with my money, you're dead. You're dead, man. We stoning you to death. You know, ain't, ain't no guns like that back then. So they just like, yo, we're going to stone you to death if you don't come up with my money. Because people wanted their money even back then, even in the biblical time. Yo, where, where art thou money? Bring forth my, my, my pence. You know what I'm saying? I need the coins. And so he's just scrambling, looking for ways to make money. Now he has a twin brother that's actually one of Jesus's apostles. So he has a twin brother. And so he has an ax to grind with his brother. This is like, yo man, you think you better than me cause you out here with this Messiah. So he has that, he has that ax to grind with his twin brother who, you know, he felt like, yo, you abandoned, you abandoned us when mom was sick. To, to follow this messiah that's probably not even legit. So you think you better than me? Cause I haven't figured out my life just cause you following this, this dude. So he has that family ax to grind already. So he eventually, you know, comes up with a way to make money. He's like, yo, I'm gonna be a fake messiah and get the money from the people. And you know, that's how I'm gonna make the money and pay off Jebediah and survive. But you know, main character, Moments of clarity, moments of truth. She's finding out deeper things about himself and everything else. So that's essentially the plot of the movie without giving everything away. This is different. This movie's different. The soundtrack is amazing. The storyline, surprisingly, I was able to follow it. The performances from the cast are really dope, like really good. Uh, you got a great cast in here. Jameis Samuel is the writer director. He also wrote and directed The Heart of They Fall on Netflix, which was a good Western in my opinion. And he, he, he incorporated like real characters and, and incorporated into the heart of they fall. So now, you know, he's going the Jesus route and just, you know, remixing the story a little bit. Same as Quentin Tarantino does. He'll remix history and just, you know, let it fall where it may. I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed the character arcs. I enjoyed the messages tapped within the storyline about religion, Christianity, and even today's like racism. It was all like woven throughout the piece. And so I was like, yo, this is really good. I got emotional. I was like, yo man, I'm having a good time, man. Every, everything was firing on all cylinders for me. It only made like three, four million this weekend on the $40 million budget. So that's unfortunate because I feel like I feel like people should check this movie out. It's well acted, it's well written, it's something different. And I feel like a lot of people are probably avoiding it because I ain't, ain't gonna be no blasphemy on my watch. You should watch it. It's a great conversation starter, if anything. This just bleeds into black folks. Yo, I'm gonna throw y'all on the grill real quick. You always complain about I'm tired of the slave movies. I'm tired of the slave movies and the and the, and the racism movies. We tired of this. We want Either we get in the slave movies or we get in a man dressed as a woman. Where's the other stuff? Well, when you get other stuff like this, do you pull up? Are you are you watching the Book of Clarence? Are you watching, did you watch um, The Blackening? 
like a dope comedy rooted in the in the horror genre and racism mixed in. Did you watch that? It made 17 million. I don't think you pulled up. Are you watching American fiction where we get nuanced African-American characters and you're not pulling up? So I'm tired of the complaints. They serving you what you what you claim you want to see, but you don't, you don't even pull up. The Medea movies always make money. The lowest grossing Medea movie made $47 million. Harriet, the movie Harriet made $43 million at the box office. Where y'all at? You can't be complaining and then you're not supporting stuff like this. Are you going to go see Origin when it comes out? Directed by Ava DuVernay. Are you watching that? You know what I'm saying? You got to pull up. Did you watch the Angry Black Girl and Her Monster last year? Did you pull up to that? You got to pull up. You got to put your money where your mouth is if you want to see varied stories from African-American directors and writers and casts. You got to pull up. You got to do your part. It can't just be all romantic comedies either. You got to pull up, man. I just had to throw you all on the grill. I had to get that off my little chest piece. But forget all that. You want to know the smooth jazz review of the Book of Clarence. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving the Book of Clarence four saxophones, maybe a flaccid four and a half saxophones out of five, man. I really enjoyed this mug. You know, I believe in God, but... I'm not a Christian, so I'm coming in, you know, I'm coming in just neutral. And it kind of made me more interested in, in the Bible and in, in Jesus as a whole. So I feel like this movie is a great conversation piece. It's, uh, it's thought provoking too. So I left it there to like, man, that was some heavy stuff in there. And I really enjoyed it. I feel like everybody should check it out and just form your own opinion. Y'all should just do that, man. And it made me wonder like, man, what kind of role would I be rocking in those biblical times? What would my sandal game be like? Because y'all know I'm, I'm all about the Jordan 1s. What would be my signature sandal? I probably couldn't even afford sandals. I might be out here barefoot. Ashy feet, though. Got to have them ashy feet if we're in the biblical times. You know, the toes got to be ashy, man. Moses? Come on, man. All right, peeps, that's my review of the Book of Clarence. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments section below, man. And are you into these biblical pieces? I did like The Prince of Egypt, too, even though it was animated. I love that joint. But let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here. Oh, one more question. Are you pulling up to these black movies, though? That's the real question. Are you putting your money? Are you adding to the box office dollar when we go left field with these projects? Let me know. Be honest in the comment section. We out.